The charred remains of Nuke London are the backdrop for MFL action at Flumbly Stadium, which proved again today why it's the cheating capital of the league by towing every car in the parking lot to the team-owned impound next door. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Atlanta Vultures take on the Nuke London Hatriots. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. And it's first and ten. Hey. Second down in a lot. That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with well, uh, yeah, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I mean, and anything really tastes good. That pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? Stick your head in a plastic bag, say the outfit backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop him. And that'll bring up third and one. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. First and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to kill the quarter. And boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? First down and less than a yard. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck blocking this. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Playing the league and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. He's a big night smoker. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? And 
And it's first and ten. Hey. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. Third down and five. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Hey. And that is called for a first down. First down and three. He doesn't like what he sees, so he's calling an audible. Hey. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Hey. You have got to be kidding me. My sister could have made that kick. Let's see if they can get the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monaten Industries.